In 1914, a 36-year-old man set foot on the shores of Brazil and would change the world forever. Mitsuyo Maeda was a judo expert and a member of the Kodokan in Japan. He was a student of Jigoro Kano, the founder of judo and the quintessential martial arts luminary of his time. Unlike many members of the Kodokan who believed that the art should be demonstrated mainly through teaching and performing kata, Maeda advocated that it be demonstrated through combat. He would go on to enter and compete in challenge matches against fighters from around the globe. These matches were essentially prize fights in which Maeda was often a smaller combatant. Rumors quickly flew around that Maeda was actually in disfavor with the Kodokan, who disapproved of him fighting for money. Although Judo focused a great deal on throws and takedowns, another element of the system appealed to him more. This element was known as Kozen. Kozen Jiu-Jitsu fighters were often referred to as butt scooters or guard jumpers. The focus was more directed to grappling, and Maeda became a specialist at it, adding his innovations and philosophies. Eventually, stories would soar around town of a small oriental man who would battle larger, stronger wrestlers and boxers, defeating them with little physical effort, winning the crowd over, and earning the nickname, Mr. Impossible. Maeda saw the world traveling through Asia, Europe, and finally, the Americas making a living through judo demonstrations and prize fights. Once in Brazil, he worked to form Japanese colonies, building communities, and developing social networks for Japanese immigrants. During this time, Maeda was befriended by a Brazilian politician named Gastel Gracie. Gastel assisted Maeda and many Japanese immigrants. Out of appreciation, Maeda offered to teach judo to Gastel's 14-year-old son, Carlos. Carlos, in turn, would teach his other brothers. Maeda didn't only pass to Carlos his techniques, but his personal philosophies on combat. These philosophies would lay the foundation for Gracie family jiu-jitsu. The Gracie family would eventually go on to reveal the mysteries of jiu-jitsu to the world. And the rest is history. Tsuyo Maeda would never know the impact his life would have on the world, how he affected so many of us by giving us the gift of his martial art. Maeda was a man who lived a life of honor. His life touched many, and he was touched by life itself.